Hi, I'm Molly from Doodle. Today we're learning how to calculate the area of a rectangle. Let's get started. First, let's connect what we already know by choosing the shape with an area of 8 squares, which will help us with the rest of the lesson. Here we have three shapes, two rectangles and one square. We can work out the area of each shape by counting the squares inside. We need to choose the shape with an area of 8 squares. Well done if you've already worked out which one it is. I can see that this first one has an area of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 squares, so it must be this one. Great, we've just earned our first doodle star. Now we're ready to discover our new learning. Jay is calculating the area of rectangles. We are reminded that area is the amount of space inside a 2D shape. Jay says, instead of counting each square one at a time, I can see that there are two rows and four squares in each row. So I can solve 2 times 4 to find the area. So we can solve 2 times 4 to work out that the area of the rectangle is 8 squares. Great, that's our second doodle star. Now, Jay says, this rectangle doesn't have any squares to count. I can calculate its area by multiplying the length by the width. We can see that the length of this rectangle is 5 centimetres and the width is 3 centimetres. We need to choose the calculation that will help Jay to find the area of the rectangle. Jay has explained that to calculate the area, we can multiply length by width. Which calculation do you think Jay needs to solve? Well done if you knew it was 5 centimetres multiplied by 3 centimetres. Excellent, that's another doodle star. Here we're told that area is measured in units squared. We need to choose the answer to 5 centimetres times 3 centimetres. We know that 5 times 3 is 15, but we also know that area is measured in units squared, so the answer must be 15 centimetres squared. Excellent! For the last part of the Discover, we need to complete the equation for area. Can you remember how to calculate area? Is it length add width, length subtract width, or length multiplied by width? That's right! Area equals length times width. Great job! That's another doodle star. Finally, let's explore this a bit more by applying what we've just learnt to a real life situation. Sam is planting flowers. His flower beds are measured in feet. His tulips need the most space, so we need to help him work out which flower bed has the largest area. First, we need to join each flower bed to its area. Can you remember how to calculate area? Well done if you remembered that we need to solve length times width. So, to work out the area of the first flower bed, we need to solve 8 feet times 1 foot. 8 times 1 equals 8, so I know that the area of the first flower bed is 8 square feet. The next flower bed has a length of 6 feet and a width of 3 feet, so to work, its, work out its area, we need to solve 6 times 3. I know that this area must be 18 square feet. Flower bed A has a length of 4 feet and a width of 3 feet. To work out its area, we need to solve 4 times 3 feet, so it must be 12 squared feet. Finally, flower bed C has a length of 5 and a width of 4 feet, so to work out its area, we need to solve 5 times 4. It must be 20 squared feet. Let's check. Fantastic! That's the first part of the Explore Complete. Now we've calculated the area of each of the flower beds, we're asked which one has the largest area. Which flower bed do you think has the largest area? When you're ready, take a look at the description box to see what the answer is. If you enjoyed this video and would like to try some questions, create an account to try Doodle Maths for free. Visit doodlelearning.com or click the link in the description box below to get started. For more maths guides, like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching!